know that Imam Hussein some had a wife named Shahr Banu and she a, was an Iranian queen and from that wife and from that reality came the reality of Imam Zain al Abideen. From the reality of Imam Zain al Abideen came Muhammad Baqir. From the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad al-Baqir came Imam Jafar al-Sadiq. From the reality of Imam Jafar al-Sadiq came Musa Qasim and all the way down means an immense reality, an immense secret from that blessed soul that Allah wanted from her soul and her reality to be the light and the secret that carrying upon with Imam Hussain salam into that lineage to bring the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi inshaAllah. May Allah dress us from their realities, their blessings, that their nazar be upon us, that there is something immensely sacred about that reality and that that reality and all of these immense personalities that Allah has created, their surah is always upon this earth, never leaves. Allah keep the surah of, of these holy souls upon this earth at all times. And their surah has immense, immense blessings upon this earth and this reality. In the last days many of these realities will be shining through different Naqshbandi people. All the awliya who prayed that they want to be with Sayyidina Mahdi salam, the grand shaykhs of the Naqshbandi tariqah, all of their realities that they wanted to be present. So when they teach us how to make a madad, how to make a, a tafakkur and contemplation, they're teaching us to surrender yourself, get yourself out of the way. There are many realities that are going to now appear upon this earth. Means that which you annihilate yourself to be nothing and enter into that mirror, those realities can begin to reflect through that insan. When a particular shaykh or Divinely soul, these blessed souls begin to dress through the person, their image can become seen through those whom their hearts are beginning to open or open. They can see the face of that reality shining through because you be with whom you love. So when those loved souls of Sayyidina Muhammad begin to come, so imagine your face they begin to dress and you can almost begin to see and they begin to take this attribute and this shaykh, this likeness to that reality. And if this end of days and last days is opening as fast as it's opening then know that learn your tafakkur, learn the madad, learn how to, how to annihilate yourself, get yourself out of the way you're causing all the problems. So that this is the understanding that you should watch the matrix. There's only one good and one bad and they're about to fight. Either you give yourself to the bad and he multiplies himself into you, he'll mark you, get you all marked up, ready to show that you're with me and I'm through you, you are me and I am you. And awliyaullah are coming and saying, Allah wounds for His heavenly kingdom that take yourself out of the way, annihilate yourself to be nothing and give your being back to its central command like a rent-a-car agency. You took the car and stole it, it wasn't yours to take, it wasn't yours to mark up, it wasn't yours to do anything to that. So now awliya are coming out to find all these rental cars. You know what a big deal they make at grocery stores for people who steal the shopping carts? <laughs> they take the cart they want to go home for convenience. This body of ours, not the soul, the body is a rental car. Allah gave it and said that when you come to this earth, this car is ready for you. Take it, drive it, enjoy it, fuel it, put fuel in it and the praying, the zakah, all of it was a part of cleaning, cleaning the driver, the soul and taking care of the body which is the car. 
You had no right to steal the car and say, no, I'm not going to use it for God. I'm going to use it for every criminal and, and deceitful act that I can imagine. You had no right to mark it. So get a, rent a car and say, I'm going to go paint it tomorrow. I want to put nice designs all over the back of the car and do whatever I want to do with the car. You had no right to do that. You had no right to change the tires of the car, nothing. It was an amanatas, it was a trust entrusted to us by God Almighty. And now in the end it's a quick move, only all over the world through their eyes are moving out, sending a, a signal into your soul, beating the nafs, burning the nafs, destroying the nafs, get out of the way, this body belongs to Allah And these cars begin to come back into their headquarters. When the car comes back in, Allah will put the appropriate driver to drive within that car, right? Get yourself out of the way, then the reality can begin to reflect through. These awliya will begin to reflect through. Oh, the personalities that Sayyidina Muhammad wounds, this is the reason of the madad. The madad is to show my insignificance, I have no power. If I surrender myself, that which has power comes it can move through the physicality and every power and every qudra, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi aliyul adheem. There's no hawla, there's no power and there's no help. There's no help and no power coming to you other through, other than official channel. So it means that when you surrender yourself, the hawla is the madad of awliya. They're all coming around to surrender yourself. This power Allah wants to send is only coming from one source is the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad That power has to reach to the servant to begin to fight against the Dajjal and his armies. So this hawla is their awliya are all around and the teaching be nothing, be nothing, be nothing. As soon as you surrender yourself within your own being and that's why the testing, as soon as they test and you explode. Oh, there's something in there really has to be destroyed because it's like a wild dog and there are no wild dogs in their presence. Everything has to be submit and taslim, taslim and they agitate, they agitate. They can break a wild dog in no time and doesn't require any time and space for them. The one in the cage, they begin to really work on it and become so wild, so wild. It become exhausted from its barking, it gives up huh. or it dies in a state of barking. It'll bark so much, <laughs> gone. So it means that wildness goes down, down, uh, I don't feel like it anymore, I have no energy for that. That wildness has to be brought down, when it broke down, broke down, every test they send to it, it stays down, stays down. As soon as it stays down then the person is, Sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslim. You say taslima because you want to be polite. Awliyaullah say taslim. Pray and praise upon Sayyidina Muhammad and taslim. Come for your orders, Atiullah, Atiya Rasul. Wa ulul amri minkum, ulul am. They're in taslim, they wait for the command of the Rasul Taslima are for all those who are trying to reach that, make a beatific praisings. If you praised enough, praised enough, try to lower your bad character, you actually will begin to enter into a taslim. Every test that coming to you, submit. Every action coming to you, submit. Every anger coming to you, bring it down, don't answer back, don't use your mouth, it wasn't meant for anything because Allah going to make your mouth to testify and divine the presence. Then He's going to make your hands to talk of what your hands did in life. So it means everything is in this submission, as soon as we submit the madad of these awliya can come. So when people don't understand power, there's no power going to come to you. Anyone who they give power to now on this earth will definitely be a pharaoh. You give somebody a little bit of power tomorrow they'll be destroying everyone. They use it for all the wrong reasons. Those people will be destroyed. This power that they're giving 
is that you get out of the way, you submit, you be nothing and then this reality of these awliya come as a madad and support. They take over your hearing, they take over your seeing, they take over the hands in which you touch and the feet in which you move and there is support there for you. But you don't have the ability, our power comes in and at that time does that. So it's about me negating myself, I'm nothing, I'm nothing, I'm nothing. If Allah said, then if you truly believe you're nothing, let me send you those whom are something in my Divinely Presence. If they come, everything can be moved, mountains can be brought down, the whole earth can be flipped on its axis by one wali. Don't need the sultan of the walis. If that's a sultan and awliya, why would he have to do the work himself? What king does the work himself? King, everybody brings the food to them. If one wali can do it, doesn't need the sultan to do it. The sultan in charge of the universes of Allah not in charge of this earth. One of the lowest levels can flip the entire earth upside down if Allah give a izzat and a permission. So it means then our whole life in these days is be nothing, be nothing, be nothing. That this madad begin to enter, that this understanding that it's not me, that ana abdukul ajiz, that if I get out of the way and be nothing, that reality, that energy, that qudra begin to enter within our beings and support us through the difficulty which is coming onto this earth. Mawlana Shaykh Nazim described that from what horrific events are coming on this earth, six out of seven will die and no one can take it, no eye can see it, no heart can bear it except those whom are very spiritually strong. No, only way to become spiritually strong, get out of the way for those who are already strong. Those souls, they come to give their support, they give their nazar, they give the vision that's necessary, they give the qudra which to hear, what's needed to hear, they give the power upon the hand because they inherited the hadith that we talked about last week. Because Prophet is that holy hadith. Prophet if you read Ayatul Kursi, it's a description of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad because the Kursi is the chair of authority. Allah doesn't sit on a chair, otherwise the chair would overtake Allah. Who, how, could, how could a chair be strong enough to hold God Almighty? No? But this Ayatul Kareem is describing the one who never sleep and slumbers. Of course the soul of Prophet is no sleeping, he sees, he hears, he's vigilant over Allah's creation. It's tremendous reality of that qudra and that power that Allah dra dressing upon that holy soul of Sayyidina Muhammad So that chair of authority, that reality of authority, that is the power that's going to be moving upon this earth and that reality. We pray that Allah give us a life to see that. Yeah. To be dressed by that, to be blessed by that, inshaAllah. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings, and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.